Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're starting at the title screen for once. Why? Well, because I'd like to show you something. Lost levels here. See, we got D1 open there. But the thing is, is that, ah, curse you Xbox 360 controller D-pad. Yeah, anyway, you can, once unlocking World 9, you can then play it from the title screen. Well, not title screen, excuse me, the file select screen. So there you go. I don't know why you would want to uh, replay World 9 because there's not really much to World 9, but there you go. <laughs> Anyway, let's start World D1. This is actually technically a take two because of the fact that uh, I wanted to show off that thing in the title screen and yeah, oh, not the title screen, excuse me, the file select screen. Why do I keep saying title screen? So that's why I'm redoing it because of the fact that I wanted to show that off and that's really all there is to it. And uh, there was a couple deaths, but I don't remember exactly how many. Uh, it doesn't really matter anyway, since this is a restart, so, oh well. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, this is the official recording of D1, the final world, so to speak. The final lettered world, I should say, I should say the fi final four stages. Man, I'm just getting caught up in my words today, aren't I? Uh, this section right here in my first run, I found it's best to just jump it like that if you can. But it's kind of annoying to do so because you need a little bit of momentum and it's hard to get it on, to, on that one one square wide block. It's just plain annoying all around and, you know, I bet you I could rush that if I just go right for that Koopa. Let's just try that for the heck of it. And... Oh yeah! That works a lot better than waiting for the Hammer Brothers. Is there any power-ups around here? I never- I didn't check this on my initial run, so this is still as blind as ever, and I, it's clear that I haven't played this game in a while, because I'm controlling it like poo. <laughs> and, oh. He wasn't supposed to be there. Uh, let's try that again. There we go. Much better. That's, that's my preferred line of attack there. Even if I die, it still doesn't matter all that much in the long run, because of the fact that, you know, it's just so close to the beginning. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I should be checking those question mark boxes. They could have some pirate booty in them or not. Hmm. I'll have to check the other ones on the other side if I die again. That's an almost guaranteed occurrence in this game. <laughs> uh, I would like to... There we go. I wanted to scroll it a little bit so I can get that prana plant out. There we go! Oh, that was pretty dang close too. Why? Oh my god! <laughs> Why was he there? There's like, there's no way to prepare for that. Uh, unless maybe I can move the screen over a little bit, like right off at the start. I mean, not, it's not at the start, excuse me, right at that green pipe. Eh, I guess we'll see once we get back over there eventually and ugh. Another freaking luck based part. Right at the start. Yeah, that's not gonna work for me, is it? I have a feeling World D is going to be ridiculously difficult, and is there really any way of getting past those guys quickly? Is there any way to do it strategically? Like, see that guy on the bottom there, he seems to move forward towards you. Then again, that guy at the top seems to do that as well. And, and you know, when there's moving Hammer Brothers, wow. Uh, the best way to beat them is just to go right past them as fast as you possibly can. And... You know, I have to say, this game is ridiculously hard in every single possible way. <laughs> it's way, way too hard, and maybe it wasn't a very good idea for them to release this in America like I originally thought they should have. Uh, or at least at the time when they held it back. Because remember, people were still new to video games at the time, so they probably would have been turned off by a game of this magnitude and difficulty, so to speak. And okay, let's see if I can get Hammer Brother Guy to get on screen. There we go, this works a lot better. At least I think it will. Okay, progress. So, why, why is there all moving Hammer Brothers? And now Wind, Wind of all things. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> it was just like that short three second burst of wind. <laughs> now that's some volatile weather there. 
And, and we always say that the weather changes very quickly in anywhere around the world or can change quickly. Well, in the Mushroom Kingdom, it changes faster than any other place ever. Uh, this, this stage reminds me of something. It, it really is really reminiscent of some other stage that I've played. Well, maybe not. I don't, I don't know, really. Just that beginning section when I was jumping with the piranha plant pipes. I should say between the piranha plant but I was right at the end! Ow! How well did I do? Oh, I guess, well, there's no, I don't think there's any checkpoints in lost levels, by the way. Whoops. <laughs> uh, I, I noticed that about lost level stages that there doesn't seem to be any checkpoints whatsoever. Oh, and someone told me that uh, you can't actually get one-ups from the flagpole. There's, you can get one-ups from it, but there's some like special combination of coins and time left on the clock or something like that. Whoops. Uh, I, I forgot the whole combination, I it, but yeah, that's probably the reason why I haven't been able to get one-ups off the flagpole was because you simply can't. <laughs> uh, I guess there's no real excuse in the first Mario Brothers, you know, the movie that I made off of it. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, in this one, you just can't seem to be able to do so. So that explains it all together, and that makes me quite happy that I'm not missing the mark. <laughs> Anyway, we're at the end of the stage once again. Arrgh, I need to have like the right forward momentum to get on top of that block next to the flagpole. This stage is pretty easy, actually, except for the fact that if you you know run right into the Koopa's head and he kind of bites your foot or something like that. But otherwise, this one is really easy. Heck, even D1 was pretty easy compared to other ones, or at least that's what it's seeming seems like. Excuse me. Uh, D3 and D4 are probably going to demolish me, just because I'm saying this. <laughs> uh, and that's really all I have to say about that. This, as you see, I'm not, it's not really hard to get past any of these obstacles consistently, even when you're rushing through them. You know, I wasn't checking any of these boxes. There might be some goodies. No, I'm not gonna go up that vine, because I know the end of the stage is like right here, and yeah, I, I really don't want to... Yeah. Of course, I would mistime the springboard, of all things. And we're back here with ease, so... Yep. And dang, what is with that? It's like, once you get up in the air and you're pushing forward, you can't stop your forward momentum. I guess that's a part of this game's physics. As I said, I never liked Mario 1's controls. Never have, never will. Oops. But the fact that it's to jump on top of a one square block is ridiculously annoying, to say the least, with the springboard. So that is going to be another one of those luck-based factors, I think. Though I'm sure people could do it consistently, because it's a feel thing. But still, it's ugh, I don't like the controls. And here we are at the end already. All right, maybe I'll maybe I'll try with like no forward momentum or very little forward momentum. Hmm. I'll have to try with just a little more to get up on the block next time I reach that spot. Yeah, there's like no opposition in this stage whatsoever once you know what's coming. Okay, so I'm gonna try jumping at it from like this distance away and push forward. Oh! Ah, uh, here we are again. So let's get ourselves a little bit distance and. <sighs> and here we are again with no problems whatsoever. Wah! Curses! Now I can speed run this dang thing. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, you can pretty much just run forward and jump when you need to. Okay. <sighs> and. <sighs> so hard to touch that one little block. I bet you they put it at like just the right spot just so that it's like right in the middle of your springboard momentum so to speak like when you there's probably like a, a middle ground so to speak of the momentum that you have and you gotta use that to your advantage on that spring and i'm trying to get the feel of that and see like that one i ended up being short and I, I don't know what the exact feel of it is. So maybe what I should try doing is just like, 
uh, running and jumping at the spring as fast as I possibly can or something like that. That could be another option. And, you know, like, try and skip that one block whatsoever, the one square block whatsoever. It's not like it's an intimidating jump or anything like that. It's just the fact of, like, maybe you can do that? That seems to be like the most consistent method that I could use, but I would end up hitting the bottom of the flagpole, of course. But if you're not getting one-ups from the top of the flagpole, who cares about points anyway? <laughs> That's like... Points and lives are meaningless in this game whatsoever because it auto-saves after every level. Unless you're like going for a world record high score or something like that, but... Uh, that, that would be like for the most elite of all Mario players, so to speak. Wow! Same thing. I bet you it's just far enough away that I can't do that. Okay, gonna have to keep trying. Well, here we are again. The culprit. The springboard. How's it going, buddy? Will you help me to the finish line this time? I really hope you will. I hate you so much. Here again. Okay, what's it gonna take to bridge this gap anyway? I mean, I, I went onto the springboard with different momentums and I still uh, end up missing it. Yep, here again, no trouble. Well, will my last method work jumping at it from like this distance away? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah! About time. Uh, I think I'm gonna do one more level in this part and then just leave off the last castle for the final part. Because I think this part's gonna be lengthy otherwise. Oh dear lord, no! Hold on. Alright, D3. This is looking a lot like... If you, oops, if you recall, 8-3 uh, of the original Mario Brothers with this background here, and that is never, ever a good sign. I bet you there's, how the heck did I hit that bullet bill <laughs> when I hit that box at the same time? I, oh god, yeah, it's gonna be one of these dealios. I'm just gonna have to, like, run through this. Yeah, because they are the kind of ones that will follow you to the ends of the earth. And that will not end pretty, that's for certain. Okay. Whoop. That wasn't that bad, I guess. So far. I should say for that springboard. <laughs> At least not in comparison to that last level. Oh man, I lost all my forward momentum. Okay, that wasn't too bad of a run. I definitely think that... Ooh, I think there's a little bit of memorization involved with this level which I'm not a fan of, as you've known before, I've explained this before, but it does seem fairly manageable. Like, you got the power-up for those Hammer Brothers there. Uh, you can wait around for those guys, like, uh, I guess you can't. Uh-oh. Wait, wait, what? What is... Was there, like, a Hammer Brother gonna be over there or something like that? That there is an invisible coin block of death? Because you know how they love to do those Kaizo trickery traps. Oh, yes. Anyway, I hope there won't be another Hammer Brother there. Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to do that. Bad timing for the bullet there. Well, I shouldn't say it was bad timing. It was bad positioning. But I had to keep, you know, running forward. Otherwise, I would have been done for. And that was a terrible death there. <laughs> I hate when they have, like, staircase cannons. Like, they have one right on top of the other that they fire so that there's no safe spot. And then there's, like, one on the ground. So it skims the ground underneath you like that, right in the middle. And then there's, like, nothing to, to keep you from uh, avoiding taking a hit except for sheer dumb luck. Oops, that's not a good thing. And here's another formation, just like the last one of those cannons. And you think it's going to be safe here, but no, there's that other cannon off to the left there. It's a little bit of trickery. Okay, that's not that bad to get by. And I do not like Hammer Brothers. Don't follow me. Oh! Bullet Bill, you had the fire there, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Just got... Jesus! 
That was a really, really bad time to fire, but I survived it somehow. There we go! I really shouldn't waste too much time on this first portion here. Ugh. And definitely use invincibility to my advantage, if at all possible. I think those two Hammer Brothers are always going to be at the top and the bottom by the way they spawn. It doesn't look like that they could possibly go down to a lower level, so I should just be fine going down that middle route, I think. Ugh. I don't like you. I don't like you one bit. Ugh. Okay, safe spot. No, there is no safe spots. You stop moving, you get a hammer, brother. I thought I had a clearing there, but he turned around and threw his hammer backwards. Ugh. Oh, crap. They do go on the middle layer. Well, that's another luck-based segment because of the overly broken Hammer Brothers enemies that I've mentioned a million times before that they were, whoops, way, way too powerful for their own good back in the day. Uh, they did definitely nerf them in later Mario installments, that's for certain. Because you'll notice, like, in Super Mario Brothers, uh, New Super Mario Brothers Wii, excuse me, uh, they drop hammers, I should say they throw hammers at much... Uh, slower intervals so you can get in between them or wait for them to jump up and you can run underneath them but in this case they walk forward while throwing their hammers and that is uh, next to impossible to defeat combination at least without taking a hit without massive amounts of luck everywhere you go and as I said before not a fan of luck based elements either in games I would want I always want to defeat a game with skill and not like have to rely on luck to do it because otherwise it's just like there's no there's no like fun factor to it so to speak because of the fact that it's like well I, I can get past this part no problem well but then there's this part that you flip a coin and if you get it right if you call it right yeah you'll get past this part but then there's this other part that you have to flip a coin then you have to get right so that gives you a 25 percent chance total in getting past those two parts and then there's another part where you have to flip a coin and yeah you get the idea and look at that i was completely cornered there. I, w I would have been able to jump up to that higher platform if not I, I got that edge of the block glitch. Did you see me like touch the block and that kind of stalled me from jump... Uh, yeah, that should it is jumping from the ground up. Did that bullet bill just disappear? That was weird. Ugh, dang it. But yeah, you get the idea because that offset my timing just enough that I couldn't. Oh, that's why that coin block is there. I see. And yeah. See, they're, they're timed in such a way that it's just a flurry of hammers that you can't get through pretty much no matter what you do unless you get extremely lucky. And getting this power up is also pretty luck based because of the fact that that bottom cannon just might fire a bullet bill randomly. As I've stated before, bullet bill cannons in the original Mario Brothers they fire at complete random, and they can they can fire two bullets in really fast succession, or they can fire nothing in a, lot, a bunch of seconds. So that's another big factor of the uh, sort of unfair nature Mario One has, as opposed to other Mario games, of which they balance this out. They definitely did a good job of improving this game, or I should say this game mechanic, so to speak. And ugh. Should've jumped on top. Oh, okay, I made it anyway, I guess. Um, oh, this is not an ideal setup, that's for sure. Because any of those top cannons can fire at any time. And am I near? Oh my god, oh my god, yes! I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next part. I'm gonna end it off here while I'm on my good streak, I guess. That's why I'm ending it off so suddenly. Doodaloo! Hmm, fireworks. Even they're happy of my victory.